Okay, this is the answer pad, and, and here's the website. Not much to uh, to look at. You really have to sign in to really get to the um, uh, the meat of it. Um, but you can see that it's on Apple's. It's also on Android. Uh, so you know, I mean, you, several different options that you have for you, for you in your own classroom. Uh, let's go over to uh, the iTunes just so you can see the the app, and it's a free app, which is super cool. Um, I'm going to scooch on down the screenshots because I think it gives you a really uh, cool look of it. Um, so it's one of those where you can set up questions and the, and the kids respond right there on their device and it's recording their responses. And you can go back and check out and see how they work through a problem or how they answer a problem. It has certain templates like this grid paper that you can add or I should say a graph. And uh, what's cool is that uh, a question like this where you can uh, insert an image, uh, you can place these buttons. These, these answer choices are actually buttons and the kids simply have to press on the buttons themselves and it, it records it and uh, it gives um, a, some pretty cool visual um, um, a feedback um, lots of different types of feedback this isn't one that I've played with yet uh, but it has certainly caught my eye and I really enjoy things like this in the classroom it breaks up the monotony of the classroom it um, also if you're looking to uh, to go paperless this is certainly a good choice um, next we have Ed Puzzle. Now I, I like to flip my class to a degree, so I do assign uh, videos to the students, and uh, this is super cool because uh, what this does is uh, I can the same video I might use anyway. I can um, actually add my voice to it. I probably have already done that, but I can also add questions along the way. Um, and you can see here that at certain spots, it's going to ask them a question, and they're going to have to respond to that. And then um, later on, uh, I, I can see who has watched the video, um, how many times, and I can see the answers that they give. That's pretty cool, right? Some accountability there. I mean, for me, it's, it's optional anyway. I don't really um, force them. Uh, but it'd be really cool to uh, to have that accountability there and to be able to interact with the kids. Um, and then we have Blooms, which I, I think is super cool. And I just recently discovered this one. But I got to tell you, I'm really excited about it. I'm I'm definitely going to get in there. I've already set up my account and any everything, so I'm looking to do this. But you can see that you can communicate with parents. You can share class photos and updates. You can coordinate even volunteer signups. Cool and conference signups. Now right now I'm probably using about three other different types of apps for this sort of thing and this is going to combine it all together. Um, so I mean it, it's uh, it's awesome. I mean I, I don't know what more to say. Um, a class calendar, cl I can give class updates, I, I, can, uh, I can share photos of things that we're doing in the classroom, I can set up events. Uh, it's two-way messaging so we can communicate very quickly through this um, uh, through this app. I mean, how convenient is that for parents, right? Because you know they have their phone with them all the time. Um, I don't know. This one's super cool. I I'm sure you can see the value of ch at least checking into this one. Um, so give it a shot.